Some people feel disgusted everything connected with war, and it's pretty obvious why. However, many scientific discoveries were made thanks to the desire to defeat the enemy. Wars have always simulated technology, and as a result mankind has learned how to create entire factories to create war machines, and what about the ancient world? Well, not in vain we mention factories, right? For example, let's talk about tanks. Most likely you thought about them when I mentioned military machines. Tanks are like a modern version of the ancient battle chariot. Even scientists are talking about that. In the end, the chariot provided mobility on the battlefield and was not just a means of transportation, but a formidable weapon. But armies needed a lot of chariots and therefore, 3,000 years ago, Pharaoh Ramus II built a factory that produced them. The Battle of Kaddish was around the corner. It was the largest chariot battle ever fought. In 1274 BC, the Egyptians sent a great number of chariots to battle and eventually there were about 4,000 chariots from both sides on the battlefield. Imagine the heat, the dust and the screams, but let's get back to the factory. Archaeologists believe that it was located in the Nile Delta, and in addition to training grounds, there was a real assembly line. It was about the same as those at any modern factory, except it didn't have a conveyor belt. Chariots were assembled from parts that were created separately, and this greatly accelerated the process. So if you're told that it was Henry Ford who created the assembly line method in the 20th century, you can argue that it was the Egyptians who did it 3,000 years ago. Subscribe for more videos like this and turn on the notification to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.